all you need is love. Love is all you need. What all these love songs fail to mention is that you have to love yourself first before somebody else can love you. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. Today, I wanna to talk about how to love yourself because not loving yourself is the root of all suffering. About two years ago, I came to the realization that I really didn't know myself, nor did I love myself. And so I began the journey of self-love and I thought I was doing really great because I did start to love myself. And about two months ago, I fell flat on my face again. You know, you gotta kinda look at it like you're a baby and you're starting to walk for the first time. So you fall and then you get back up and then you fall again and it's just life. What has become very clear to me is the amount that you love yourself is the amount of love that you can give and receive. Even if you have somebody who does fall in love with you and you don't love yourself, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe yourself to be unlovable, you will be just that. You won't be compassionate, you won't be forgiving, you won't be patient, you won't be understanding. You'll have really high expectations of yourself and others. When you truly love yourself, your expectations are transformed into acceptance, acceptance of yourself and others. A lack of self-love leads to identification and clinging. So identification is when you identify your self-worth with something outside of yourself, like your home or your car, money, your job. We also see a lack of self-love through clinging, clinging on to things or people because we think that they give us value. For example, when we cling on to people and relationships, we become very dependent on them for our own happiness. We expect them to fill our insecurities, fill our voids, and that's just not possible because the only person that can help you with your insecurities is yourself. Or we cling on to a job that we may not even like. We're clinging on to our money. We're clinging on to whatever it is that you think gives you value. So. My question is, why are we giving all of our power away? Why are we giving so much power to other people, to things? Are we freaking crazy? We need to take our power back, people. Seize the day, okay? Ain't nobody got time for that. So now, how do we take our power back and start loving ourselves? Well, first step, stop putting your self-worth into things and other people. We have to accept ourselves fully, accept our physical appearance, accept our light and our darkness, accept our flaws, embrace our weaknesses, because that's where the strength lies. When we can sit with our weaknesses, when we can embrace our wounds and the things that we don't like about ourselves, that's when we become really powerful. There is nobody else in the world out there like you. You are the only one with your voice and your talents and your gifts. And what you can bring to the world, nobody else can. And when you fall down, try not to beat yourself up. This one's really hard for me because I just want to beat the crap out of myself, you know, but we have to be really compassionate to ourselves when we fall down. You know, it's part of being human and it's what, it's what's part of making us better and stronger and more empathetic beings. Be your best friend. We have to stop comparing ourselves with other people. I absolutely love this quote. It says, the reason we struggle with insecurity is because we compare our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. Regardless of what we're comparing, it really doesn't make any sense because we're all so unique and on our own different journeys. It's like comparing the beauty of the Grand Canyon to the beauty of the Pacific Ocean. You can't compare them. They're both so unique and beautiful. Let go of what other people think of you because it doesn't matter what other people think of you. It only matters what you think of you. You can't please everyone. And when your own perception of yourself is healthy and good, then you don't really care what anybody else thinks. And when you judge another, you're really judging yourself. So they're just hurting themselves anyway. 
Invest time in things you love, whether that be hiking, I love salsa dancing, swimming, whatever it is, when you do that, you're saying, I am worthy of happiness. Get involved in charity work and helping other people. There is no better feeling in this world than knowing that you help someone on their journey, even just a teeny tiny bit. Loving ourselves takes a great amount of courage and it's a leap of faith. Taking our power back is a lot of responsibility because it also means that we're taking 100% responsibility for our feelings and the way we react to people. We're no longer throwing the pity parties and we're not doing the blame game. Our imperfections are perfect and we are worthy and we are lovable. I hope everyone has a weekend of just loving themselves. Um, leave your comments and let me know what you think about this video. I'm really interested. Um, I read all the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every Thursday. Okay? Toodaloo!